Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Yesterday I covered Microsoft Excel's new data type, the zip code data type. I had a lot of positive feedback about it, so today I'm going to jump right into another data type called the automatic data type, and this is really cool. I'm going to take a look at some dogs first, then I'm going to take a look at some diseases. One really short announcement. I do a lot of personal finance videos, and coming up, Next week, I'm going to cover one of my favorite topics, uh, dollar cost averaging. We'll take a look at it for a falling market, a rising market, a one-time purchase, which is not dollar cost averaging, and compare the DCA versus the one-time purchase. And then we'll look at it for a uh, sideways market, prices going up and down. That video will also be not only on my YouTube channel, but Microsoft has a Microsoft 365 YouTube channel. They got quite a few subscribers. And if you look over here, it is Learn Personal Finance with Microsoft Creators. I'm one of them. So it'll end up showing up in this list too at some point. We just came up with this list just recently. So I'm actually really excited about that. But let's dive into this automatic data type right now. So. I'm going to click inside this list of dogs. I'm going to make it a table, Control T. It's got a header row, hit OK. So here we go, data. There are my data types running across the top. Hit the arrow. Well, I don't see anything about animals or dogs. That is when you use automatic. I intentionally did this. If you look in cell A13, that is supposed to say boxer and it says boxes. Let's see what happens. Need an internet connection for this to work? Perfect. It's telling me right over here, by the way, let me pull this over. Hey, you it found bulldog, but what kind of bulldog are you looking for? English bulldog, I'm gonna hit select, it changes it. Poodle, what type of poodle? Standard, select. And here you go, it did not find boxes because that is not a dog. Watch what happens when I change it to boxer. And it even has a little icon of a dog. So now the question is, okay, what do you want to know about those breeds of dogs? I want to know um, female maximum height. I'm just picking stuff. I want to know the male maximum height. What else do you want to know? I want to know a description. Pretty cool. And you can just keep on going in here. I'm going to stop here. You see what I'm doing though. Origin, shedding, size, temperature, that's all in here. I'm now going to come and do the same trick using automatic, but this time I typed in some diseases. So control T, make it a table. Yep, good. Data tab, click. There's no disease data types. So I'm going to do automatic. Uh, Hodgkin's disease, which one? I'm going to hit the, the fault one here. It's got its own icon. Now, what do you want to know about these? Let's pull up average temperature. If you get pound filled exclamation point, that means the data is not available. It's not a error message. Uh, the data is not available for COVID-19 for the average temperature. Causes. Again, pound filled is okay. Common symptoms, let's see what that says. So there you go. There are all kind of automatic data types. I'm gonna keep covering them the rest of this month and also next month. But anyway, thank you for your time. I'm trying to keep the videos under five minutes again. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll have the video out about uh, DCA next week. Thank you. Everyone have a wonderful day.